This is the Quick Start tutorial for the Dialog System for Unity version 2. To start, create a new scene. Then drag the prefab from Plugins, Pixel Crushers, Dialog System, Prefabs, called Dialog Manager, into the scene. Next to the Initial Database field, Click Create to create a dialog database. Click on the Conversations tab. Click Plus to create a new conversation. Right click on the Start node and select Create Child node. In the dialog text field, enter Hello. Right click on Hello. Select Create Child Node again, and enter Goodbye for the dialog text. The blue node is the PC's response. Next, create an empty game object named Player, and create a cube that we'll call NPC. Add a Dialog System Trigger component, click Add Action, and select Start Conversation. Select our newly created conversation, assign Player to the Conversation Actor field, and assign NPC to the Conversation Conversant field. Then change the Trigger dropdown to on start. And let's test this out. Now we'll set up the triggering system, which is an optional subsystem but useful for setting up interactions in your gameplay. Change the Trigger dropdown back to On Use. Add a Usable component to the NPC. Set Max Use Distance to 30 because we're going to raycast from the camera, which is more than 5 units away. Select the player and add a Selector component. Change Select App to Mouse Position, and Play. When you mouse over the cube, the selector detects it, and if you right-click with the mouse, it will start the conversation. You may notice that the selector's display was still visible during the conversation. To remedy that, we'll use another component. Select the player and add a Dialog System Events component. Expand Conversation Events and add an entry to Conversation Start and Conversation End. Assign the selector and on Conversation Start, disable it. On Conversation End, re-enable it. Now when we play, the Selector UI disappears when the conversation is running. You can do much more in the dialog system. You can use Dialog System Events to disable player control during conversations. You can configure the Dialog System Trigger to handle other activities such as barks and quests. You can completely customize the UI, add voiceover, and much, much more. Please see the manual at pixelcrushers.com for full details. Thank you.